As you can see, first responders are focusing on the people who need help, but pets are often a second priority there. Several local groups here are stepping up to assist animals without homes. And News 4's Jen Schatz has been looking into this. Jen? Well, Jackie, a lot of you have been asking us how you can help victims of Tropical Storm Harvey. Well, listen up. Fosters are badly needed for dogs, cats, and other animals abandoned in this storm. I spoke to two local organizations making plans to bring homeless pets from Texas and Louisiana. Louisiana here to Western New York. Flood waters continue to rise in Houston. People aren't the only ones losing their homes. We'll have some dogs potentially coming from Texas as soon as this Thursday uh, that are being flown in uh, to Buffalo Airport. Uh, we work with other groups like Lollipop Farms and Toronto Humane Society and others that are going to coordinate uh, adoptions here locally. The Erie County SPCA helped to relocate several pets to Western New York after Hurricane Katrina. President and CEO Gary Willoughby expects the need for new homes following Tropical Storm Harvey will last several months. Buddy's Second Chance Rescue is also taking in stranded animals. This weekend we do have 15 dogs that are coming up from a shelter in Jasper City. Um, they'll be coming up here and being put into foster homes. Dogs will be the easiest to help, Willoughby says. Cats are a little bit more difficult. We're almost at the end of what we call kitten season where we can actually take a breath and be able to help out more cats, but that's going to be the challenge. We also take in uh, pocket pets, uh, gerbils and hamsters and guinea pigs and snakes. And don't forget about larger, exotic animals like horses. Many have been displaced by Harvey. The Erie County SPCA does have a barn, but its space is limited. Staff here will coordinate with other local and national agencies to help provide homes for farm animals, too. Now, there will be a group of local SPCA volunteers likely headed down to Texas in the near future. And, of course, the flooding there isn't over yet, so the weather really will dictate just when these animals arrive here. Head to WIVB.com and click on the Found It on 4 page to learn how you can help. Live in the studio, Jen Schantz, News 4 at 6.